Welcome to the AACR 2020 presentation of abstract number 10333 PD1 VAX IMU201 Phase 1 Non Small Cell Lung Cancer Study titled An Open Label Multi Center Dose Escalation Expansion Phase 1 Study of IMU201 PD1 VAX A B Cell Immunotherapy in Adults with Non Small Cell Lung Cancer Presented by Dr. Anthony Good. For more information, contact info at immugene.com. Slide two presents our disclosures. Please take time to read these. Slide three, study background and vaccination approach. IMU201 is a B-cell epitope from PD-1 linked to a promiscuous T-cell epitope via a four amino acid linker emulsified with the adjuvant Montanide 720 VG to form the dosage form called PD1 VAX. IMU201 is being developed to induce the production of anti PD1 antibodies through active immunization of patients with the peptide epitope, which is designed to stimulate polyclonal antibodies against PD1. This vaccination approach may afford the possibility of generating an enduring immune response eliciting high-affinity anti-PD-1 antibodies that act as antagonist to receptor signaling, which inhibits T-cell responses to tumours. Slide 4. PD-1 VAX Proof of Principle Study IMU-201-101. This study is a Phase 1 open-label two-part study consisting of dose escalation during Part 1 and dose expansion at the optimal biological dose of IMU-201 in Part 2. Patients will have non-small cell lung cancer with a PDL one expression of greater than 50%. The study design is a 3 plus 3 dose escalation dose limiting toxicity study starting with monotherapy of IMU201 in patients who have progressed on an immune checkpoint inhibitor followed by dose escalation in ICI-naive patients in combination with standard of care treatment for non-small cell lung cancer, followed by an expansion cohort in ICI-naive patients in combination with standard of care treatment, which consists of an immune checkpoint inhibitor plus or minus chemotherapy. The endpoints are the optimal biological dose of PD-1 VAX is monotherapy and in combination with standard of care treatment for non-small cell lung cancer, safety, immunogenicity and efficacy. Slide 5. The study design of IMU-201-101 consists of two parts, part 1 dose escalation and part 2 dose expansion. Part 1 dose escalation will start with IMU-201 administered as PD-1 VAX as monotherapy to determine the maximum tolerated dose and optimal biological dose. There are three dose levels, 10 micrograms, 50 micrograms and 100 micrograms. When the monotherapy optimal biological dose has been determined, PD-1 VAX will be administered in combination with standard of care treatment to determine the combination maximum tolerated dose and optimal biological dose. Once this has been determined, part two dose expansion will enrol 12 patients at the optimal biological dose in combination with standard of care treatment. Slide six shows the dose schedule and study timeline. The top panel is PD-1 VAX as monotherapy, the bottom panel PD-1 VAX in combination with standard of care treatment. Both study schedules are very similar and begin with a 21-day screening period, followed by vaccination with IMU-201 as PD-1 VAX on day 1, day 15, day 29, day 64, and every 63 days afterwards. There is a tumour assessment by RESIST at day 43 and every 42 days after that. There are regular injection site assessments during the study. When PD-1 vaccine is given in combination with standard of care treatment, a standard of care treatment is added to the schedule at day one, day 22, and every 21 days after that. Study endpoints. These include adverse events, number of patients discontinuing study treatment, 
The optimal biological dose of iron U201 evaluated by safety, tolerability and immunogenicity data, including PD-1 specific antibodies. The preliminary efficacy analysis will include objective response rate, progression free survival, duration of response and overall survival. Value and changes in humoral and cellular immunogenicity data will also be measured. These include PD-1 specific antibodies, IgM and IgG, vaccine specific cytokine levels and regulatory and effector T and B cells. In conclusion, IMU-201 uses an active immunisation approach to enable a patient's own immune system to produce anti-PD-1 antibodies continually during study treatment. This contrasts with the peaks and troughs of available antibodies typically seen with the infusion approach used with current immune checkpoint inhibitor monoclonal antibodies for the treatment of non-small cell lung cancer. Thank you for your attention.